Is that a Tandy running Linux? No. It isn't. What I've got here is a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Linux, which is a port of Debian for the for this specific platform. What I've configured is to have one virtual terminal assigned to the serial port. Now the serial port comes off these pins here, uh, but it comes out as 5 volts TTL logic level. So I've just built this little circuit down here to convert the TTL signals to RS-232. Those signals are then suitable to pump into the serial port of a PC. A PC like my Tandy 1000. The software that I use is called Connex. Um, on a more powerful system like a 486 or something I might use Telex. That's a bit, uh, a bit heavy for this Tandy which is uh, an 8086 so using Connex it's only a few hundred kilobytes freely available in the net. Oh. Let's fire it up. As you can see it's nothing fancy, it's just a terminal emulator. Set like so. When I plug power in to the Raspberry Pi, we get the Linux boot messages flying by like so. Not exactly sure why the text changes from blue to red while it's booting up. It's something to do with Linux using a non-complete or non-standard implementation of um, VT100, I think. Anywho. Since this is a Linux machine, I could go anywhere on my network. I could connect to a network share on one of my Windows PCs, or I could connect to a website and download a file. Here's one I've prepared earlier. Let's use Silfeed as an example. Now that's um, 682Ks, so it'll take about five minutes to transfer. Use a command on Linux called SZ, which basically outputs Z modem protocol to the terminal, to the console. Well, I tried to download the file to the floppy disk. That's not going to fit. So I just changed the current directory to C drive and we'll try it again. So this is now downloading the file at 1.8 kilobytes per second. And it's finished. So now that file is on our local hard disk. So I can go exit and see it there. Here we go. 